Well, hello, folks. So, uh, I made my own Crocs. Yes, that's right. I made myself my own pair of Crocs. And I'm very happy with myself. Now, I want you to sit back and enjoy. Oh, by the way, guys, just want to bring up this little situation here, Snakes and Coffee, because that's my other YouTube channel. And if you're on here, you should be able to pop over to there. So give it a look. I would love for that. It is me and my friends looking for all 17 snakes of Ontario. It's more of an educational situation. Um, it's not the art situation, but for those who are lovers of the wilderness and the world around them, I think you guys really like it. But back to the art situation. I made myself my own Crocs and I'm very, very happy with myself about it. So I want you to sit down and watch it. But before you do that, like, subscribe. Guys, you gotta subscribe. People aren't subscribing out there. You gotta subscribe. You know what happens when you subscribe? My channel will grow and grow and get bigger. And that means that I get to do more art. It means that I get to do snakes and coffee. It means that I get to hang out with cool people like you and my friends. Oh man, it's just too much. It's too much. It's too good. So sit back, watch the video, and enjoy. But remember, subscribe. It's a good thing to do. Um, and there you are. So, have a good time. Watch the video. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, folks. So, I have these old pair of shoes that I have right here. And they have done me justice for a long time. And I wear them at the zoo. But as you can see, life and zoo work and that has kind of, kind of beaten them up. Uh, now, I did have a hole in the side. But I have an idea of being able to fix this so it's going to look good again. And that's basically what this is all about. I'm just going to see if I can make these shoes look good again for a little while and see how much longer they might last. Uh, but it's going to be just a fun project. Now, side right here. Uh, you will see a video showing you exactly how that was done. But what was it you did exactly, Sue? Uh, I cut up an old canvas bag, so it's the same material as the shoe. Double-faced fabric tape and leather craft fabric glue. Perfect. That is just how that worked. So the rest of this right now will be me actually spraying. I got my Krylon. Uh, it is a satin hunter green that I'm going to use. Um, I have some other spray paint here too, uh, which is called Design Master, and it's a basil. So I'm hoping that the one will look good. I don't know. We'll just give it a shot. And, uh, oh, I know what I'm gonna have to do. I am going to have to tape off the rubber. Yeah, all right. So there we are. There's one of the things I gotta do also. Okay, now this was a bit of a shocker. Uh, I was going to uh, go some, get some tape and get something to clean with. And then Sue suggested that I use the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, these things here. And uh, I did it and uh, I wasn't expecting anything special, but darn, did a pretty good job. So I'm, I'll do the other one, you know, we'll see what happens to see the difference, right? We can see on this side here, that's what I did with this, and I'm gonna hit with that. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to be beautiful, and I'm not expecting it to be beautiful at the end. I just kind of want to be able to take them to go to work, right? And uh, see if they'll last a little longer. So there you are, folks, look at that. Look at that already. That is pretty darn good. And like I said, I'm not really expecting it to be beautiful, bright white or anything like that, but that actually did a great job. So now I'm just gonna tape it up. There you are. All right, folks. So I've taped these, right? Got everything ready for that. Uh, we had to redo that little hole. Uh, you'll see that uh, and uh, we'll, we'll get that right. Uh, but I think, I think the second idea is gonna be the part that'll work better. Yeah, there you are. All right, so I have painted the shoes. Uh, now I just have to take off the uh, tape and I did get a little bit of paint on the shoe itself but uh, well but in the end I gotta be honest looks pretty good right uh, I went with the darker green this time uh, simply because I think the lighter green that I used the last time uh, would have been fine but I think the darker green will just allow other stuff to pop up more when I go to paint so as you can see Take the tape off, shoes look good, and uh, they'll be ready to paint soon. I'm just gonna clean that off after, right? And uh, yeah, they'll be ready to go. So now it's time to paint.
All right, so I'm basically gonna draw in my eyes first. Um, it's kind of nice is I'm gonna use these uh, markers that I got, the ones that I got from Art of Q. Uh, what's nice about it is that these are thinner ones, so I can start and draw in a nice thin line, and then if I want to come in thicker later, I can do that. So basically, I've got the eyes figured out like that, uh, and then I'm gonna do the mouth on the side here, right? So I'm going right back to the crocodile idea again. I think uh, I like it. So I can go thin line first, make sure it kind of lands where I want it to be. Uh, think about the uh, scales. Right. And then I'll just keep working that in. Uh, I think I'm gonna like this. Uh, all right, so that's what we're gonna do. I think I'll have to put it on the fast mode for you guys, so it won't take too long. There you go. Number two. That one should be uh, fun to do too. Let's see, I've got some lines already made up for myself on this with the uh, black. So basically, you should know where I'm going. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get this one going too. Ha 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 ha. I'm liking it. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so shoe number two. Alright folks, so we have Croc shoes done, redone, re-colored, uh, and brought back to life. And that's kind of nice. <laughs> hey, settle down, settle down, guys. But they are looking good. I am very happy with myself. And I gotta be honest with you, it was so much fun to do. Um, yeah, it's one of those things where you can't get a perfect situation because you're going to be going over bumps and bruises and stuff like that and like a little tear there. But this shoe's gonna have at least another little life to them. And that's what makes me happy. <sighs> Settle down, boys. Settle down. All right, so I will be wearing these to work. Yahoo!
So there you are. I made my own Croc shoes. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Ta-da. Ta-da. Ta -da. Whoa, sorry. Kind of dirty on the bottom. But I did. I took those old shoes that looked kind of not so great and made them look great. So there you are. I have now made my own Croc shoes. And uh, we had a couple things that went a little awry there was the little hole. We actually had to redo it because the first way that we did it didn't work, but that's okay. Uh, but now everything is looking great. And uh, there you are. I now will get at least a few more months, maybe six more months, who knows, out of these shoes that were ready to go into the garbage. I made them new and I made my own crops. Yes, that's what I did. So folks, um, remember, uh, be cool like a big bull moose and remember to wear your pants.